Hi, I'm Jonathan Edwards and this is Be Still and Know. Let's listen to the Bible together and hear what God is saying to us today. Psalm 119 verses 1 and 2. Joyful are people of integrity who follow the instructions of the Lord. Joyful are those who obey his laws and search for him with all their hearts. This is the beginning of what is by far the longest psalm and the longest chapter in the Bible. It's made up of 22 sections, each one of which begins with a different letter of the Hebrew alphabet. Each of those sections is made up of eight verses and the whole psalm is beautifully designed like a piece of intricate tapestry. It's nothing like those psalms in which the psalmist pours out his emotions of anger, sorrow and joy. The whole purpose of this psalm is to declare the blessing of God's laws because they are the key to living life to the full. It's as if the psalmist sees God's instructions as being so beautiful that, like a diamond, every single angle of them needs to be identified and celebrated. When we first hear the word law, we're inclined to think of restrictions, and no one likes the thought of that. We want to be free to do what we want. But God's laws are given so that we can be protected from the things that can only damage our lives. The psalmist was convinced that God's law offered the path to the deepest blessings and joys of life. He saw it as being like a lamp to guide his feet and a light for his path. A simple illustration of the importance of God's law exists in sport. Every sport has its rule book, and those rules are often extremely extensive and detailed. This is all very restrictive, but as anyone who's played a particular sport will know, without the rules, everything would be chaos. It would be misery. The rules are there in order to enable the sport to flow well, and referees and umpires are appointed to ensure that this happens. How much more important that we listen to God's laws for life, knowing that without them, it would definitely be chaos. Let me pray with you. Lord God, we thank you that you love us so much that you've given us rules which enable us to live life to the full. Amen. Thanks for listening. I encourage you to join me every day for Be Still and Know here on Premier, or you can catch me at any time on podcast. And if you'd like to receive a free copy of our magazine, Voice of Hope, which contains all of these devotionals and much else besides, please visit premier.org.uk forward slash voice of hope. God bless you. I do hope you have a really good day.